I don't what is going on? Uh, what's happening? Uh, yes? Go on. Greetings and salutations, friends. He doesn't care. Um, it is 7.53 a.m. on a Thursday, and Taylor is heading to throws practice, um, followed by some jumping. Yeah. And I'm jumping, so I figured I'd just come with him, hang out while he throws, perhaps take some footage of him, but more likely probably go back to sleep on the high jump mat. Um, anything you want to say? Too early. Yeah, that's right. So, you might be saying, oh, Taylor, that's a different jab. So I made that jab because those other ones are super expensive and like they break, so just made my own. So it's like a piece of wood dowel, wrapped it in tape, and then drilled a hole into a baseball and then put it on the end, and it's perfectly fine. Works great. It was like 20 bucks to make. And those like jab thingies are way more expensive than that. So look at that. got a question on the last video. Vanessa, she said, hey guys, just started watching your videos and I'm on edge to see what you guys put out next. Uh, she's a high school runner, 400 meter runner, triple jumper, long jumper. Great combination, by the way. Yeah. And she just wants like a rundown of our jumps warm up and like, what we kind of work on. So, Good question. Yeah. So in our warm-ups, uh, I usually do them after a like event. So it's a little bit different, but Caro starts like from scratch. So from can, cold. From cold. Like say. Yeah. So number one, I think the most important thing is that your jumps warm-up shouldn't be the same as your sprinting. Warm up. So I have two different warm-ups, one that I do on my sprint days, one that I do on my jumps days, and my jumps one differs in that it's a lot more diverse, there's a lot more different types of movements because I'm, you know, not just getting ready to run, I'm getting ready for impact, um, being poppy, being reactive, um, so there's a lot more different elements to my jumps warm-up, and I also do a lot more warm up for the warm up if that makes sense like I do a lot of ground work and just like do some physio exercises and some mobility exercises really getting the body ready this is kind of something I've developed over the years through like recommendations from other coaches my own coaches um, doing just like what feels good to me before I start jumping and I think we both kind of follow the uh, crap method if you guys saw that in the blog I don't even remember what the crap method is so it's cardio yeah so we run yeah and then range of motion mm -hmm. so we just kind of like get things loose that are feeling tight that day and then activation stuff and then uh, performance related stuff so like the event that you're doing so that would be more like of the poppy stuff so mm -hmm. so it starts general and kind of gets more specific really like um, the first thing that I do is 
jog and skip, so very general, basic, fundamental things. Um, and then the last thing that I do before I put my spikes on is hurdle hops, so obviously a lot more specific to what I'm doing. And then for like <clears throat> a workout for me, because I have to do a lot of different events in one day, um, I don't have as much jumping when I do jump. So my workout today is um, a couple takeoffs from eight. And when I say eight, I just mean eight strides. And then a couple takeoffs from 10 strides. And then I have six to eight full jumps from 10 strides. So that's like a usual workout for me, just working on like being quick off the board and stuff like that. Because you're doing different events, like 400, like you're gonna be doing sprinting events and like jumping, that would be kind of like a good mix. So it's not too, too much. If you're doing two events on the same day, that would be like a general kind of workout that I've done, so that helps. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna start warming up now and then we'll show you the workout. General part of the warm up complete, some strides, some like jumpy things on the spot. Now I'm getting more into like the activation section of the warm up, so that's what I'm doing now with the um, what is this called? Glute circuit, glute activation. Circuit. Yeah, glute circuit. Um, so that's what I'm doing now with this uh, glute circuit, and then I'm going to start getting into more of the specifics. I'm gonna give you a rundown because the camera's gonna die. I forgot to switch the batteries, but we've both done like our warm up, so now we're gonna go to approach runs. I have four to five, Caro has I think around the same, and then we're gonna go both into our like technical drill stuff. Um, so if you guys see that the camera switch is probably because this died and I'm using my phone and I won't talk on my phone because the audio is crap, so yeah if the while well, the camera's gonna die so I'll talk to you guys back at the house but enjoy this trying to work on staying upright in the penultimate because I when people do the penultimate they tend to like bring their like chest lower because they feel like they're getting lower but you need to stay tall and just drop the hip so just working on that and then so now we're going to full jumps and then Caro has got some uh, drills and stuff that she's gonna start with so feeling pretty good
have it. There you go. A few days later. We're not going to lie to you. Yeah. You can probably tell by his facial hair. So that was the gist of our jumping warm-up. Obviously not all of it. That would have been a really long video. Kind of boring. But um, some different drills you might want to incorporate. Yeah, you didn't see my warm-up because it was just like a couple of strides and like just some tapping stuff. So it was pretty much the same thing that Caro did, but just like a lot shorter because I've been throwing for a lot longer. The key takeaway from this should be that your jumps warm up should be preparing you to jump. Yeah. Exactly. So reactive things, impact things, kind of getting everything ready. Um, and it want, you want it to be a gradual thing, you know, like you, each movement leads into the next one and gets you warmed up for the next thing and then the next thing and then the next thing. And yeah, if you have any more questions, feel free to um, ask away. Thanks for the question. Um, we enjoyed making the video. So like Kara just said, if you have more questions, just comment below and we'll make a video about it. We like it. And yeah, other than that, that's the end of the vlog. I don't what is going know on? What's happening. If you guys liked it, give this video a thumbs up. If you guys like Chuck, then subscribe. What is wrong? Why are you crying? This is just oh. bizarre. I swear okay. he does not cry a lot. This <laughs> yeah. is this weird. This is just weird. Uh, so we have to tend to our dog. So we <laughs> hope you guys have a good day, evening, night, whenever you guys watch this. And if you have any comments of emotional support for Chuck, comment below. And yeah, have a good one. Bye. Bye.